be the very thing I would die. I made the metal, knowing it would be melted and made into the same 30 shekels of silver that would be used to betray me, knowing what was at stake. I knowingly made the steel that would be shaped into stakes that would staple my limbs to the cross and slay me. I became a carpenter, an expert at fixing broken things with nails and wood, knowing as a carpenter that I'd be nailed to wood to fix a broken thing like you. So do this in remembrance. Do this in remembrance of every Old Testament picture. You see, I was the animal slaves that my father graciously placed over Adam and Eve's sin. Even after they disobeyed him, I was the ram in the thicket. God's provision on a mountaintop so Father Abraham wouldn't have to slay his son Isaac. I was the ark that Noah and his family hid inside to hide from the flood. I was the city of refuge a lot of his family fled to to flee from the judgment to come. I was the blood on the door. That my father passed over. I was the original Passover lamb, the serpent on Moses' staff, lifted in the desert so that all who would look upon me would receive their healing. I was the part in the Red Sea so my people could cross into freedom after a lifetime of captivity. I was the suffering servant, bruised for your transgressions and crushed for your iniquities, as prophesied in Isaiah chapter 53. I am the Savior in Psalm 22, crying, My God, why did you? Forsaken me, don't you see? Those things were shadow, but I am substance. So do this in remembrance. Do this in remembrance of me, because I am he who knew no sin, who was made sin as I swept blood drops from my skin, crying in a garden because I knew what was coming. I am the one. Asking if the cup of my father's wrath might pass from me, but wouldn't be drinking it on your behalf? Because of the passion I have for you, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the, the light of the world. In my darkest hour, as the power of darkness compels the very people who shouted, Hosanna on Palm Sunday, I hollow, crucify him on Good Friday. I am the Son of God, being treated like a common criminal, the King of Kings, being stripped of my royal robes and crown as my skin is ripped by whips and tips of thorns, inflicting both pain and shame as they place the crown on my head to mock me and spit in my sinless face. I am the Savior of the world, hanging naked on the cross, taking your punishment for you. So I implore you, do this in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of me, because my Father forsook me, so that all who would forsake their sins and follow me would never be forsaken. So before you take this bread, Remember that I am the bread of life. Without me, your toast, I was crushed. Like grains of wheat and broken for you, the true vine, being pressed under the weight of the world's sin, like grapes that my grace might taste like the wine of everlasting life to you. So don't just, don't just taste this bread. Taste my forgiveness. Take Taste of my grace, so pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 